Two right uppercuts by Canelo. Dang. Yes, by Canelo. Yes. by Canelo. I think what's next for Canelo, um, I think it's going to be Berlanga. We're hoping it's David Benavidez. I'm hoping it's David Benavidez. But I think that um, all, all the cards are laying out and, and leading and, and pointing toward, all the fingers are pointing towards Berlanga next. With I'm hoping that Benavidez will be following that. <laughs> From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, look, today, you know, this is the, the time we talk about the, uh, the the events that transpired last night. You know what I'm saying? On May 4th, we had uh, the, the huge event with um with uh, Jaime Munguia versus Canelo Alvarez, man. The the, uh, the 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 face of boxing, man. The king of boxing right now. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, inherited it from Floyd Money Mayweather. So, um, so uh, before we get to the main event let's talk about the undercards man they had some good undercards you know i will say a lot of people were complaining about the about the notable names missing from the undercard you know they didn't really have too much notoriety but i thought the fights well which is which is very true they didn't have that much renown um, um but i thought the fights were good they did disappoint you know why the fuck you lying why you always lying uh starting off with um with uh Stanley onis you know um Stanley onis he, he beat meister um, but I will say this, you know, my uh, Stanley always looked good. He's a tough fighter, but I think that he gets hit a lot. And I think yesterday was an example of that. He gets hit a lot. So when he fights Boots, you know, he's been calling out Boots. If him, him and Boots fights, I don't think that bodes well for somebody to fight Boots to get hit with the with the um, with the frequency in which he gets hit, you know. So, but I'm still interested in that fight, you know. And then uh, I can even see him him and, him and Barrios being a good fight. Speaking of Barrios, you know, Barrios fought Madonna, Fabian Madonna, who's Marcos Madonna's younger brother. Uh, Madonna is a, is a t uh, Marcos Madonna is a tough guy. <laughs> Fabian Madonna, he got dropped early uh, by Mark Mario Barros, but I like the way he, re he recovered and um, he made an interesting fight. But I, I will say at the early stages, he didn't seem like he wanted to be there. It seemed like he was a little nervous and a little intimidated by Mario Barros. But, um, you know, uh, Mario Barros won that handily at, at, either way by unanimous decision. Uh, I believe it was unanimous decision. Yeah, definitely unanimous decision. And, uh, you know, Mario Barros just seems to get bruised, bruised, bruised quite a bit, you know. Um, that's just it. That's just his um, thing. But he... Uh, he definitely held it down, you know what I'm saying? And then the next fight we had was uh, Brandon Figueroa and Jesse Magdaleno. Magdaleno was coming off a long layoff, I think over 390 plus days. And, uh, and uh, you know, Brandon Figueroa came through and, uh, you know, hit him with a vicious body shot. You know, and um, that, was, that, was, that was a dope and explosive body shot. So, you know, he, 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 he came back on the scene, announced his presence and his return with an, in an emphatic fashion. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes, man. I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, Canelo Alvarez, man, the, the 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 current face of boxing, you know what I'm saying? Versus the young bull Jaime Munguia. Man, this fight did not disappoint. Like I said, Jaime Munguia is one of one of my favorite fighters to watch right now because he's very entertaining. Like I said, he, he's gonna throw a high volume of punches, which we like. He's gonna fight, and um, you know, he, if he has to. <laughs> <laughs> he'll block with his face you know if it means that he could exchange and throw punches so so at, at a high rate a high volume so that's what he did yesterday man you know and canelo you know he 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 took advantage of that you know which we anticipated the only thing i was wrong though i thought i thought canelo was gonna get him out of there in eight rounds i was wrong about that and i was impressed with jaime Munguia, man you know he came he showed that he's a warrior he demonstrated that and i think he will improve from this loss you know i think he got dropped down in the fourth two right uppercuts by canelo three and he kept coming, man. He did not change. He didn't let uh, um, 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 the knockdown deter him from his game plan and from and from uh, 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 showing gusto and showing uh, a fighter spirit, man. So big salute to Jaime Munguia. I was impressed with the loss. You know, there's no moral victories in boxing, but I think Jaime Munguia, if he could use this, takes this and uh, um, take this opportunity and and, and 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 apply it as a learning lesson, and he could come back better. You know, he's uh, 27 years old. Damn. I'm sorry. Well, I think he turns 28 later this year. You know, I think that him and Frank Martin are in the same boat as far as uh, that's if that's if Frank Martin loses to Javante Davis. I mean, I anticipate Tank to beat 
Frank Martin, Frank the Ghost Martin, but he, uh, I think it'll be a good fight. I think it have a lot of similarities with Tank being, you know, one of the biggest names in boxing and a, and a great boxer. I think if he beats Frank Martin, if Frank Martin capitalizes off the situation, even in the L, and, and uses it as a learning experience, that he could come back better and stronger. Same with Jaime Magia, you know, because they're only one year apart. I think I think Frank Martin is 29, just turned 29 this year, and I think Jaime Magia turns 28 this year, so they're like a year or some change apart. So if they can use it as a learning experience to come back stronger, I definitely think they'll they'll improve from those losses. Though, but it's yet to be seen. You know, Frank Martin could beat Tank Davis. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby! Don't you put that on us! You know, I think it's a tough matchup. But yeah, man, Canelo is, I think what's next for Canelo, um, I think it's going to be Berlanga. We hoping it's David Benavidez. I'm hoping it's David Benavidez. But I think that um, all, all the cards are laying out and, and leading and, and pointing toward, all the fingers are pointing towards Berlanga next. With I'm hoping that Benavidez will be following that. And then next for Munguia, Munguia could fight a lot of people, man. Munguia could fight Caleb Plant. You know, Munguia could fight David Morrell. Munguia could fight Edgar Berlanga, who I'd be more interested in Munguia versus Berlanga. He could fight Christian and Billy. So there's a lot of options for uh, Munguia, man. This, the story is not over for him. I, I, I fully anticipate him to uh, come back strong. Stronger than ever, man. As long, as long as that's what he wants to do. Appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Let me know what y'all think about it. Who do you think Canelo fights next, man? Do you think Canelo fights Berlanga, Benavidez, or do you think he fights uh, Jake Paul? No, God, please. Or something like that. <laughs> so, which, which would suck. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Did y'all enjoy the fight? I loved it, man. Y'all remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.